Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Plus. Today, we are featuring Mora's Mushroom, a mushroom-themed home in Solstheim. First, you will need to go to Windhelm Docks and convince the captain of the Northern Maiden to take you to Ravenrock. When you arrive, open your map. Here's Ravenrock, and to the northeast is the Temple of Mirak, and further to the northeast is our destination, Mora's Mushroom. Also in the area is Skull Village and the Windstone, and then here we are again at Mara's Mushroom. When you install, it does give you a map marker and you can travel immediately. When you arrive, there will be a note pinned to the front door with a dagger, but I already took it, so let's find the notice in my inventory. Door is locked. I'll be down at the rowboat if needed. Alchemy dude. Okay, let's go check it out. And on our way down, let's take a note of some of the cool decorations. Look at those dark elf lanterns. And in the background you have the Temple of Mirak. Down here you have some more dark elf lanterns and the fonts from Apocrypha. Nice fire with some chairs. And then here's that boat he was talking about. But that alchemy dude is alchemy dead. But we just need to look in his pouch and we'll find Mora's mushroom key and a note to self. Note to self, Nelloth is so jealous. Hermaeus Mora has given me a home far superior to Nelloth's little mushroom hut, with the exception of the worthless assistant included. Mora insists I will not have to deal with him for much longer though. It seems I am getting a few too many spriggans here. Mora says to give them a dagger and they'll just leave, but I don't know. Seems odd. Well, considering that that alchemist is dead, I probably wouldn't trust the words of Hermaeus Mora. You can loot this body and there are some things on this boat that are worth taking, so if you want to do that, do it. But I already took care of the Sprickens before we started the tour. I will go on my wings real quick here and I'm going to show you where they were. There were two in this little area right by the boat, so you'll want to dispose of them when it's time. And there was one by the boat dock too. I'll show you what that is in just a moment. But we'll take a little whirl around here so we can see the outside. And there's the front area where we started coming down the ramp. And the woman walking up the ramp is Agnes, the home's blacksmith. You can speak with her about buying this ship for 2,000 septums. It takes you to a port near the mod author's other home, Yesmir's Keep. It was just released a few days ago but it's so cool how he made them interconnected. You just walk near the ship's steering wheel and it takes you to a dock near the home. It's located in Skyrim near Castle Volkahar, west of Solitude. And you enter it just kind of like you would walking into a cave. Over here you've got a little campsite and there's a bedroll you can use. And then above that, you have an Akaviri themed blacksmithing area but we'll check that out in a minute. First, we're gonna check out this observation tower that's on top of the mushroom. It has some awesome views. We'll visit that later in the tour. For now, let's go check out that blacksmithing area. The first thing I notice about this area are the dark elf lanterns. Mine are modded. I use Dovonique's diverse dark elf lanterns, if you'd also like to get those. And then we also have some storage chests. Lots of static decor like these weapons and armor posted. And we have all of the expected blacksmithing stations like the tanning rack, grindstone, smelter. Forge. And workbench. Bench. 
we'll take one more spin around. Let's go check out the inside. Oh, look at that eyeball on top of the door. You can click on these blue lines to float up. And it is called Mora's Mushroom, so of course you have Hermaeus Mora chilling in the mushroom. Before we start pointing out individual things, we're gonna take a spin around just so you can get the entire place in context. As you would expect from a wizard's tower, it's pretty mystical and magical. Let's check out the room that you first see when you enter. And it looks like you'll get some enchanting done in here. You've got a few weapons racks, an arcane enchanter, a lockbox with some goodies, and a staff enchanter. Here are some bookshelves for the bookworms of Skyrim. You have some dwarven decorations. And this is really cool. This is like a miniature model of the mod author's other home, Ysmir's Keep. And that's where the boat goes. So it has that big tree, the entrance to the house with the dragon on top. And then on top of the actual house, you have this area that's domed in where you can fast travel around different points in Skyrim. Super cool. And then he set another scene for us over here. It looks like he included Mirak, Seekers, a Lurker, a Dragon Priest, a Skeleton of a Dragon, and then two Warriors with their backs up against the wall, proverbially speaking of course. And then you've got Mirak flying around on a dragon. And then you've got the floating book effect like you do in Apocrypha. Some more bookshelves. You knew a home that had Hermaeus Mora and it would be seeking information with lots of books. And then this room is pretty simple. It's a guest bedroom. So you've got a bed and a little nightstand, just somewhere for your follower to stay. Over here you have kind of like a display area. I'll turn my lamp on real quick. It looks like he used these containers from Apocrypha to replace chests. I like that. He's got several mannequins over here, display cases, weapons racks. You've got Hermaeus Mora's tentacles flying around. You have another enchanting table, and if you like mine that I'm using, I use Welding Man's enchanting table variant. That is a mod, so if you're interested in those, check it out. This appears to be the master bedroom. It looks like you've got another enchanting table over here that looks like a disenchantment font. You've got some more storage in here. It looks like he put one of the fonts from Apocrypha and the room for some extra lighting. I'm one of those uh, lamps that you'd find there. There's the bed. It looks like it has some storage involved with it. And there's some more storage by the door, a mannequin. Next to the bedroom, you have a mushroom garden. You can also mine heart stones from your garden. You've got some death bells within the mushroom garden too. And some glowing mushrooms on the wall. And directly next to the garden, 
is the alchemy area with storage above. That's convenient. This ladder leads to the observation deck that we saw earlier. We're gonna wait before we go up there. And here's a spider imbuing chamber, although right now it's not working according to the mod author, but they're working on it. Even if it doesn't get fixed though, it's great decoration. And in this area, you've got a bookshelf, a map of Skyrim, and a map of Solstheim. and a reclaim display. How cool is that? Look at that little guy riding the bristleback and the miniature version of the inn. You have your very own Stalrem ore vein in your house. You have a cooking pot to the left. And here's the ladder to that deck. That man is a general goods merchant. The home also has a food merchant and Agnes the blacksmith who you bought the ship from. Let's check out these views. In the distance you can see the Red Mountain. You can also see the Dwemer Ruin which means that that's near Telmethrin. You can see the Skull Village with that cold air and the Temple of Mirak, the big building in the distance. And of course, great views of the ocean. Sometimes the merchants come out here to hang out. They'll sit at that table, they'll sit in the chair over here or take a nap on the cot. Really neat area. We're going to go see if we can talk to Agnes real quick. That's the blacksmith. We're in luck. She's there. Yes. Need something? The first dialogue option is from a mod called Order My Items. It lets you order bulk supplies from blacksmiths and alchemists and even lets you buy different types of weapons and armors too. This is just the general blacksmith sales dialogue. It's included with the mod. This is the option to buy that ship for 2000 septums that takes you to Yismir's keep. We'll head over there briefly just to show you that the ship works. This next option is Armor My Horse from Anniversary Edition. And the last one is from a mod called Get Out of My Way. It lets you push NPCs out of the way when they're blocking doorways. Or just for fun if you just want to push an NPC down. I enjoy pushing Lydia down sometimes when she gets on my nerves. Or says, I'm sworn to carry your burdens. Okay, so now we're going to go check out this ship. And all you have to do is walk up to the steering wheel and enter it like a cave. And it takes you right to the mod author's other home, Ysmir's Keep. And again, that's the one that is near Castle Volcahar. You can kind of see that when we turn. And there it is over there. So it's west of Solitude. And I have a video about this particular mod too that I'll keep in the description below in case you want to check it out. And then there is the start of the dungeon to get the key to the keep. Um, so it does come with a dungeon quest to obtain the key. And that area over there that looks like a sunken uh, castle is where you get the key. But then once you run along the shoreline, I'm just going to show you where the uh, Yismir's Keep is real quick. You just follow this path with the uh, Dark Elf Lanterns. And then you get to see his other mod just for a second. We're not going to make this very long. You can always check out the other video if you want to see that. But just wanted to give you a sneak peek if you hadn't seen it yet. It's pretty cool. 
It's got the big shaken tree. It's got a little merchant area out in front with two merchants that have little stalls. You have a spa area right there. And then you've got your front door area with the dragon above it. And then above that is that fast travel system that has another dragon statue. Really neat, I suggest you check it out if you haven't. And now we're gonna head back down to the boat so we can show you that it works coming back too and that it sends you back to Solstheim. And again, once you get over to the steering wheel area, you just walk over to it and then you enter it like a cave. And we're back at Mora's Mushroom. Here are a few of my final thoughts as we wrap up the episode. I really like the design of the home. Living in a giant mushroom like a Telvanni wizard would be pretty great. The home is practical with all of the crafting stations. I love the views, especially from the top deck. The sunset around 5.30 to 6.30 at night is really hard to beat. The mod author says that it will have lots of updates, mainly decorations, and he's open to suggestions. I know some of you will probably suggest adding in children's bedrooms to make it adoption friendly. As of the mod's release on October 11th, he still needs to work out the nav mesh to make it follower friendly, but that's on his to-do list. The home does have a couple of beds for followers, and it does connect to Yizmir's Keep, so if you download that too, you'll have access to more followers' beds, soils, fast travel means, etc. And that leads me to my last point. I love that he connected his two mods together. I wish more mod authors would consider doing that. I recommend you downloading this mod. This concludes our tour of Mora's Mushroom. If you enjoyed the tour, please click the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts. To see my previous tours, click on the playlist on the top left. To see future content, click on the channel icon on the bottom left to subscribe. And to never miss a video, click on the bell icon to receive notifications of when I post. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode.